The great Buddha once said, Happiness does not depend on what you have or who you are. It solely relies on what you think. This is the motto of a young Buddhist monk named Firma, who lives in a monastery with his master, Shanti. Dharma is a cheerful and optimistic monk who always finds joy in the simple things of life. He meditates, chants, and helps others with a smile on his face. He is content with his humble lifestyle and does not crave anything more. Shanti is a wise and respected Zen master who has attained enlightenment and transcended the cycle of suffering. He teaches Dharma and other monks the principles of Buddhism and the art of Zen. He is calm and serene, but also stern and strict. One day, a group of bandits attacks the monastery, looting and burning everything. They kill many monks and injure Shanti. Dharma manages to escape with his master, but loses everything he owns, including his robes, his bowl, and his scriptures. Dharma and Shanti wander in the forest looking for a safe place to stay. They face many hardships such as hunger, thirst, cold, heat, wild animals, and hostile people. Dharma tries to maintain his happiness, but he also feels sad, angry, scared, and confused. He wonders why such a terrible thing happened to them, and if Buddha's teachings are true. Shanti observes Dharma's emotions and tries to guide him. He tells him that happiness is not dependent on external circumstances, but on one's inner state of mind. He says that everything is impermanent and subject to change, and that one should not cling to anything or resist anything. He says that one should accept reality as it is and practice detachment, compassion, and wisdom. Dharma listens to Shanti, but also questions him. He asks how he can be happy when he has lost everything, when he is suffering, and when he does not know what will happen next. He asks how he can detach from his feelings, memories, and identity. He asks how he can be compassionate when he sees so much injustice and cruelty in the world. He asks how he can be wise when he does not understand the meaning of life. Shanti answers Dharma's questions, but also challenges him. He asks him to examine his thoughts and beliefs and to see if they are true or false, helpful or harmful, beneficial or detrimental. He asks him to observe his emotions and sensations and to see if they are permanent or transient, pleasant or unpleasant, wholesome or unwholesome. He asks him to experience his reality and actions and to see if they are aligned with his values and goals or if they are causing him more suffering or happiness. Dharma and Shanti have many dialogues and debates as they travel through the forest. They also encounter many situations and people, some friendly and some hostile, some helpful and some harmful, some inspiring and some discouraging. They learn from each other and from their experiences. They grow and change as they face their challenges and overcome their obstacles. One day, they come across a village where they hope to find some food and shelter. They knock on the door of a house where a woman lives with her two children. The woman is poor and sick, but welcomes them with kindness and generosity. She offers them some rice and water and invites them to stay for the night. Dharma is touched by the woman's hospitality and thanks her profusely. He asks her how she can be so generous when she has so little. The woman smiles and says that she is grateful for what she has and believes in sharing with others. She says that she has faith in Buddha and that he will take care of her and her children. She says that she is happy no matter what the situation is because she knows that everything happens for a reason and that there is a lesson to be learned from every experience. Shanti is impressed by the woman's attitude and praises her for her wisdom and compassion. He says that she is a true follower of Buddha and has understood the essence of his teachings. He says that she is an example for everyone and he is honored to meet her. Dharma is puzzled by Shanti's words and wonders how he can admire the woman when she is living in such misery and poverty. He wonders how she can be happy when she has nothing to look forward to and is facing so many problems and difficulties. He wonders how she can have faith in Buddha when he has allowed such injustice and suffering to happen to her and her children. Dharma decides to ask the woman some questions, hoping to understand her better. He asks her how she copes with her illness and if she has any hope of getting better. 
He asks her how she manages to feed and educate her children, and if she has any dreams for their future. He asks her how she deals with the violence and oppression in the world, and if she has any desire for peace and justice. The woman answers Dharma's questions, but also surprises him. She says that she does not cope with her illness, but accepts it as a part of her life. She says that she does not hope to get better, but is grateful for every day she is alive. She says that she does not manage to feed and educate her children, but trusts that they will find their own way. She says that she does not dream for their future, but is happy for their present. She says that she does not deal with the violence and oppression in the world, but prays for the happiness and well-being of all beings. She says that she does not desire peace and justice, but practices loving-kindness and forgiveness. Dharma is stunned by the woman's answers, and does not know how to respond. He feels a mix of admiration and disbelief, of respect and pity, of curiosity and confusion. He wonders how she can be so content and serene when he is so restless and unhappy. Shanti notices Dharma's reaction and smiles. He tells him that he has just met a living Buddha and that he has learned more from her than from any book or teacher. He tells him that he has just witnessed the true meaning of happiness and that he has a choice to make. Dharma looks at Shanti and asks him what he means. Shanti tells him that happiness is not something that can be given or taken, but something that can be created or destroyed. He tells him that happiness is not something that depends on what one has or who one is, but something that relies on what one thinks and how one acts. He tells him that happiness is not something that is fixed or static, but something that is dynamic and flexible. He tells him that happiness is not something that is outside or inside, but something that is everywhere and nowhere. Shanti tells Dharma that he can choose to be happy no matter what the situation is by following the example of the woman. He tells him that he can choose to be grateful instead of resentful, faithful instead of doubtful, trusting instead of worrying, present instead of dreaming, loving instead of hating, and forgiving instead of blaming. Dharma listens to Shanti and feels a surge of emotion. He feels a sense of awe and wonder, of humility and gratitude, of joy and peace. He realizes that he has been wrong and that he has wasted his time and energy on things that do not matter. He realizes that he has been blind and that he has missed the beauty and the goodness of life. He realizes that he has been ignorant and that he has misunderstood the teachings of Buddha. Dharma decides to follow Shanti's advice and to choose happiness. He thanks Shanti for his teachings and guidance and vows to continue his journey of learning and growing. He thanks the woman for her hospitality and generosity and bows to her with reverence and admiration. He thanks Buddha for his wisdom and compassion and chants his name with devotion and love. Dharma and Shanti leave the village and resume their wanderings. They find a new monastery where they are welcomed and accepted. Dharma realizes that he has gained more than he has lost and that he has found a deeper and more lasting happiness than he had before. He hugs Shanti and tells him that he is happy no matter what the situation is. Shanti smiles and tells him that he is proud of him. They join the other monks in the monastery and live happily ever after. Thank you for watching this video and finding it useful. If you liked it, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up, spreading it with your friends, the channel where you can explore the secrets of wisdom. Remember to comment below and share your thoughts with me. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, stay wise and stay curious.